Okay, I'm not gonna say anything even remotely ominous before this episode, because obviously last time that costed me. Welcome back to the channel. I'm watching Mob Cycle episode 9 of season 2 called Show Me What You've Got Band Together. Hopefully meaning the, uh, I guess, mob sort of group that he has, because the end of the last episode, his family was burned alive. That sounds horrible to say, but it happened. We're gonna hop right into this, see what goes down. If you need the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's get started. No way you make me watch this again. How do you tell someone to stay calm? Oh, what? Saved! Oh. I would not be shocked if it did. Yeah. You've seen like a fake dead body before and in season one. Oh my God, his voice, man. Yeah, what was that? Brother. He just sensed out and found them, like, pinpoint. Go get him, Bob! Oh, my gosh. Obsession. Oh, my gosh. Uh, is, I'm guessing this is Claw? Oh, brother. A meteor. Oh, brother. He found them so quickly. He said, was it really necessary setting the house on fire? Okay, I feel so much better knowing that they're not actually dead. I don't think Devil's lying to him. And together. Let's go get Reagan. Teru, we need backup. Wait, is this just gonna, like, about to be like all out war? What is happening? Everybody's being it. Yeah, Claw is like launching an operation, I think. Bro, that guy on the left looks crazy. Looks like he belongs in Buggy the Clown's friggin' crew. Nah, Mob's filled with like a, an anger, though. An obsession. I wonder if they love the bodies just to anger him. No shot. Oh my gosh. He said, You're not even worth my time. Holy. Realize how weak he was. Yeah, let's see it. Oh my gosh! Where did those muscles come from? Wait, that looks sick though. I like how the collar stayed uh, from his shirt. Dang! Ping pong him too! Dude, it's so like interesting whenever he gets really serious. Call the police on mom! Wrong idea. Oh, hmm. So there's something we're missing here. Maybe Sho stepped in again. Because we've known Sho, that kid, to kind of like, I don't know. If they were supposed to be on the way to their house. Oh, here comes another one, I'm guessing. Wait, does Dimple know somebody with that specific umbrella? This guy! Uh, we're just chill now? What the hell? Brother, yeah, mob's not wasting any time. They already have Reagan too? I mean, they went after Teru. But that's said former claw. I don't know. What's happening, man? They just flew to the moon! <laughs> yeah, so they're not with claw anymore. This guy! Is he former Claw now too? Working together. Yeah, what? These are all the upper echelon from the place that, from season one. What is happening? God, dude, Mob Psycho, it just is. I get whiplash every time I watch it. I'm still kind of curious about the whole umbrella thing with Dimple. Oh, so he's not even sure. He was scared of what would happen with Mob. I think Mob would understand, though. Look at him, man. He looks so empty. So Reagan's like, yeah, let's just double down. Sure. Yeah, maybe Sho did save them. Am I getting his name right? It is Sho, right? Yeah. That's why he said it would be more difficult since they were all there. Like, maybe he was going to go there and just set it on fire. And he was hoping that no one would be home. Hmm. 
Interesting. I think I'm staying ahead of the game so far, though. So they all just quit? Oh my gosh! Reagan's whole mantra. We, we just keep making good changes to society. I like this. Them coming right into the picture. It's kind of cute. Yeah, and the two that mob found weren't strong at all. A leader. <laughs> His face is ego, man. Oh, so they saw him on TV. Dude, yeah, the, all the Reagan development is so important, too, I feel like. In terms of, like, the grand scheme of things now and how we know him. Not the office! <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't laugh, but at least no one died. <laughs> I totally forgot he ran the marathon. Everything ever since I thought his family died has just been a blur. This guy is wholesome. He's not the most powerful, but I mean, he's easier for moral support. Teru! Gang's all here. The cast has just grown so much all of a sudden. Oh, we got the good old fashioned waterboarding. Like whenever he was tortured by Teru. It literally took one dunk. All the soldiers he needed to do what? I like how he has a suit now. He used to have that flashy, like, purple coat. Sure. I don't know if they'll be able to keep an Esper locked down. Is that a taser lighter? Foreigner squad Joseph. Udo. Oh, Udo, Udo kind of creeped me out, man. Where are they from? Oh, that's a dude. These these eye catchers are so clean this season, man. Oh shoot! Leader of Claw, Koichiro. Oh, he doesn't look that intimidating. Brother! Oh my gosh! War on the world. Destroy everything. That's the plan. Oh, it's so much more like cut and dry than I thought it would be. So did they just start targeting espers right away? Oh, he's gonna address the people. Hotary, like from One Piece. Ultimate five. Dog, whenever I said things move fast and mob, it, it, it just sped up like a thousand times faster. War Claw, we're declaring war in the world. Good luck. Like halfway through the episode. Jono! It really is that simple, huh? They just want to rule the world with Esper powers. There's nothing else to it. Oh my god, it's going down. Oh! Oh, that's his dad. Okay. We saw him talking to his dad. So his dad is the leader of Claw completely. So he does oppose his dad. And Ritsu's not dead. I'm guessing that means the parents, yeah, are fine too. Dog! So much is happening! Okay, they're just staying somewhere else. Let's go! Oh, that warms my heart to know they're okay. Bro, they're just so blissfully unaware. Huh? Oh, and you guys didn't think about him finding the bodies? Yeah. Oh, that's why he left him to anger mob to make give him a reason to fight. Holy. Six hundred. That's his army. First division leader Tamaki. I mean, maybe he's a little intimidating. He just looks so normal. So these five, was it's like the big five, like the five strongest in Claw? Ooh, he's, he's intimidating. Five people. Destroy Claw? What is happening? Brother, I'm exhausted. Oh my god, wait, there's gonna be a fight within Claw. Oh, Joseph is roided! Oh, that no, that's Uno! There's already a mutiny, man. Maybe this is to exaggerate how strong the leader of Claw is. 
So Joseph is his number one, uh, I guess, opposition. Now, white noise. Now, what is Joseph's plan? Or I guess they, they said Joseph was sent by the government. Is it just straight up just the government that's fighting back against Claw? Oh, dang. Hard as steel! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! I see the resemblance in show now. Bro, his entire mutiny. Oh my gosh. Dude, Ultimate Vibe is such a badass name for like a group. Main Force the Ultimate Vibe. That's so badass! Damn! The umbrella! He has an umbrella, so Dimple knows this guy. Or maybe he's heard of him or he's seen him somewhere. Surizawa, he was a shut-in. Brother! Yeah, that was just to exaggerate how strong these, these big five are. Interesting. Joseph, you got smacked. Meanwhile, our crew is just snacking. We do have a good little group here, though. <laughs> oh my god! They don't even know war was declared! Women's empowerment? What? Prime Minister. Oh, cool. Oh. oh, yeah, they're they're taking the world and they're taking it hostage. There's something so intimidating, though, about such a regular looking person that's stupid powerful. He's just going to dodge every bullet, isn't he? He's blind. What are you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's stack onto this episode. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, man. I thought it was a joke. I laughed about it. Wait, did you just yoinked away? Oh, shoot. Let's go, Daru. Oh, my gosh. He's blind. He can teleport. Bullets don't affect it. Like, brother. I mean, maybe you just need to get past, like, his Esper barrier. Run, Prime Minister, run! He just TP'd. Yeah. It's such a simple but stupid powerful power. Dude, this is popping off hard. Not super speed. More than that. But he can teleport into the barrier. Ay, Dios mio, no. And you can only attack or defend at one time. You can't do both. Oh my god, Teru got rolled. Get the body improvement club in here, man. That's it! This show goes so balls to the wall with things. It's crazy. Like, up until this point, I was like, oh, no, yeah, the episodes are very fast-paced. No, this one, it just straight up showed Claw's entire hand. Gave us an insight as to show's true motive, kind of. Introduced, I guess, like, seemingly what I thought would be the final villains of the entire show. Not even at this end of this season, but, like, leading into season three. And, I mean, maybe they still are, but... Ah! Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining in the slightest. I just think it's so crazy how much they can fit in all at once. But I love this Ultimate Five concept. It's always so cool whenever villain groups can do that. It's not as fun whenever it's just one big bad. You need a good cast of villains besides the main one or else it, it doesn't really hold up. Because if those surrounding the big bad himself aren't, you know, entertaining, engaging, interesting, then all the inevitable side fights that take place or just the fights trying to get to the final boss won't be interesting. But that's episode nine of season two of Mob Psycho. I have, I think, four more episodes of this season and if that much can happen in one episode then uh, who knows how the rest of the season is gonna go if you need a channel don't forget to drop a sub and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace